Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate you so much. All right, without further ado, we're just gonna get straight to this. Um, we're gonna do, I don't know if we call it a reaction video, but it's more like um, informative video, I guess. So CARB, if you live in California, stands for the Clean Air Resource Board and they're in charge of making sure that we don't go crazy with our tuning of the vehicles. So, Honda offers two versions of their Flash Pro. You have the race version, which get, which is supposedly for off-road, but we know damn well none of us use it for off-road. How are you going to use the Type R on off-road? Come on, make it make sense. We know. We all know. Well, if you're in the tuning community, you know you're not going to use it for off-road. But the carb legal version of it is completely legal and you can have that on your vehicle and it still gives you a decent amount of power and you can use it on the street. Um, and it doesn't really affect the emission standard, so you can still pass smog. Not that you would need to be smog anyway if you have a brand new vehicle, a 2022 Honda Civic Si. So I think the state of California gives you about five years before you can smog it, etc. I think five, five to seven years. It could be one of those. I'm not sure. But I know it's five years from the date of purchase. So if you got a 2022, you don't have to worry about smog until like, you know, 2027 or 2029. So you can go crazy with the modification of your engine. Hopefully you don't blow it up. But anyway, enough of me ranting and going off course. Let's go ahead and watch the video. Oh, hold on a second. Can't watch it without no audio, right? Let's rewind that. Run that back. Run that back. So give me one second here while I tweak with the audio settings. All right, so everything is nice and situated. Hi, it's Doug from Hondata. I'm back at the diner today to complete our carb tunes for our 22 Civic SI. The car's now got over a thousand miles on it and it has just a little bit more power and torque than it did when we first baselined it. So what do we have? We've developed a tune that is a very drivable 240 pound feet of torque, very flat, flatter than stock, and it's 30 pound feet of torque over stock. So it's a lot. And it's, it's, um, it's very unfortunate that Honda couldn't, you know, like ship the vehicles with these tune like straight from factory i think if they did that that would kind of like i think people would be satisfied with the power but the fact that the vehicle um doesn't have as much power as the previous gen but the power I, I i get it but the power gets in a little bit sooner i understand that i get all that but i think that they should have shifted with a little bit more power at least 220 um even though when they tested it you get a little bit more power from the vehicle but um yeah, so anyways. A lot of fun. You really gonna enjoy it. So this is the the initial results right here. Uh, twenty twenty two Civic Si stock is two hundred and ten, uh, torque two hundred and twenty five horsepower. So you're looking about you know some considerable amount of um, increase there, not except for the torque it just went up by fifteen, but the uh, that horsepower definitely went up went up some. I'm sorry, the, <laughs> it's got the opposite. I meant the opposite. Torque went up by 30, and uh, horsepower went up by about 15. Now, just because this isn't actually what you're getting to the wheel, you might get significantly less to the wheels. So if you're carved, because um, this is all just to the crank, um, so you're looking at about maybe 225 or two, you know, to 220 horsepower and about you know 230 torque or um 220 torque 
225, you know, to the wheels. So these numbers are still pretty good. You know, these are very, very good numbers, especially if you if it's just a very cheap tune. And the carb legal version of the Flash Pros usually go for about 400 bucks, which is, you know, not much at all when it comes to tuning. And once you open up the car and start modifying like the um, like put in a better intake, bigger exhaust and stuff like that, just something, you know, you know, <laughs> some modifications, you're going to be able to achieve even more power. And um, if you're going to do all that, I do suggest that you get the race version of the Flash Pro and not the carb version of the Flash Pro because the carb one is pretty much restricted on things that you can do. It's not fully tunable where you can control pretty much everything. Um, it's more, you know, restricted on things you can do on it. But we have developed two tunes. Out of respect for the clutch, we've developed another carb tune that peaks at 250 pound-feet of torque. At almost 40 pound-feet of torque over stock and almost 250 horsepower. So yeah, this tune, man. Whew. 250 torque and 240 uh 48 horsepower. Imagine if the SI actually came with these numbers. That would be so insane. It'd be amazing. But you know, <laughs> it's Honda. <laughs> um but anyway, these are very good results, especially for the amount of money that you're gonna be paying out of pocket, which isn't that much. Um so if you um want to or if you live in the state of california you know definitely buy the carb legal and you'll still get plenty of horsepower the si is already an amazing vehicle as it is you know. so stay tuned for more exciting developments and more products as we investigate what this car is capable of doing so yeah that, that's the uh that's the video from uh, flash pro and i will leave a link in the description if you want to go check it out yourself and uh, make sure to like and subscribe i appreciate that so much you guys have been amazing with your comments i appreciate that you keep me you know keep making these videos for you guys and i hope you guys do enjoy the videos and um yeah just having technical difficulties with the camera right now so that's why i'm or maybe i'm just hiding not hiding though <laughs> i'm here um anyway enough of me ranting on and on about nothing um enjoy the rest of your day and go watch spider-man no way home if you haven't it's an amazing marvel movie if you enjoy marvel movies that is all right bye